Okay, so we're on a no heat call. I'm gonna show you the filter that came out of this. Really dirty and disgusting return. This is what a matted coil looks like. You see that? Nothing is gonna get through this. Okay, so that probably uh, made conditions very unlivable for the furnace, which <laughs> is underneath here. All right. And that blower all the way back there, I was trying to turn it with my hand and it's really stuck. So I have to see what we gotta do. Possibly we have to cut a bigger hole, see if we can slide everything out and uh, put a new blower and a wheel in there. All right, talk to you guys soon. Get you some more picks. Okay, so we got the unit out. I had to cut the sheetrock a little bit. Told the uh, the landlord that this was gonna have to happen because this wasn't able to come out of that little hole. All right, so as you see, see this? It's stuck. The bearings have to be not seized, but you know this thing is just not gonna do the job. So we're gonna take it apart, get a new one. Slap it back in, clean the uh, blower wheel a little bit, and uh, get them up and running. All right. So check out, check this out, guys. Dirty as all hell, and that's due to never changing that filter. Everything bait bypassing, coming right inside here. Now, luckily, this freed up nice and easy. Normally, these things are like welded onto each other. So I'll be able to just take out the uh, the motor and uh, swap just the motor, clean up the uh, the wheel a little bit, but that's about it. So before we put this back, put the new motor in, I'm gonna clean out all these these blades. If it was a warmer out, if it was a warmer day out, I would uh, bring it outside and I'd hose it down and then put it back in, but it's below freezing today, so water's not really flowing too well. So we'll just uh, do our best here, and then uh, we'll vacuum it out, and we'll uh, put the new motor in, which is right here. Should be great. All right, so we're gonna vacuum everything up right now, try to get as much of this crap out of here as possible. You know, because if those um, you know, if those cups are dirty, instead of being cupped like this here, they're really flat, okay, because they're full of dirt and dust, and uh, it's going to blow way less CFMs for AC as well as heating, you know, uh, as well as heating. So uh, we're just going to, we scraped it down, we're going to vacuum it up a little bit and, uh, you know, get it nice and pretty again. Okay, so we got the new motor put in. Uh, zip tied up where the uh, capacitor is, grounded it uh, for the uh, on the chassis of this. We just slide it right through here. It's gonna be a nice tight fit, but we'll get it in there and then uh, put the board back in and fire this thing up. Much cleaner though. They should get a lot more airflow. They should be really happy with this. So we just turn this back on. Got my door switch there. I can hear the uh, flame, the igniter there. We got some flame, very nice. Just waiting for that new blow motor that we put in to kick in. So 
So we got good airflow out of the vents. I'm sure cleaning that, uh, cleaning the blower wheel helped out tremendously. It was disgusting. All right, flame is still nice and blue. Everything's running well. Everything's buttoned back up. Just make sure when you guys take these off, you take the wires off. If you know it, where the wires go, great. But if you don't, make sure if you take it off, make take pictures. Take pictures, make notes. So when you put things back, they go back the same way. All right. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'll keep on sending more videos out there.